Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Gofani Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep commenting, and please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just comment down below the name or the link. I'll be more than glad to react to it. Or you can actually comment on our Instagram and actually follow us on social media. We go by Fanny and Jesse on Instagram and Facebook. Say hi, we'll say hi back. Also check out our second um, YouTube channel. We vlog, we post vlogs here and there. I check out Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Quran knew this more than one thousand more than fourteen hundred years ago so without wasting time let's get into the video a pulsar is a highly magnetized rotating neutron star that emits a beam of electromagnetic radiation the first pulsar was observed on November the 28th, 1967, with the help of telescopes. The name pulsar is derived from pulsating star. The definition of pulsate is, produce a regular, reoccurring throbbing sound. The word originates from the Latin word, player, which means to beat. They chose this name because, scientists were able to record sounds of this star, using high-end technology of the 20th century. The most astounding fact is that this star was described 1400 years ago, in the Quran, in the 86th chapter of the Holy Quran. Allah describes a star named Tariq. Allah calls this star, Tariq, and calls it the star of piercing brightness. Now if we look at the pictures of the pulsar, we can clearly see a piercing light through the star. But there is more, Allah also called the star Tariq, which in Arabic means, the beta, or striker. Tariq is derived from the Arabic verb Taraka which means to strike or to beat. It also refers to someone who comes in the middle of the night and knocks on the door. You heard how to pulsar sounded in the beginning of the video, which scientists were able to hear using high-end technology of the 21st century. You can clearly hear the sound, which sounds like someone is striking or knocking on something. How could the Quran know this 14 centuries ago when there was no high-end technology? There is no doubt left, the Quran is a book from God, and Muhammad was his messenger. He gave us this book, to use our intellect, and then come to the conclusion, that he, is our creator. He doesn't have to reveal himself, to make us believe in him. We were given superior brains and intellect above animals, so that we could use this intellect, and come to the conclusion that he
it's amazing what you can learn because I didn't even know the um, stars made sounds, you know. Um, and I'm sure this is new to maybe some of us. Maybe a few of you knew about this because I don't. This is something that we just don't learn. Why are we not learning about such thing? And um, only those that are interested actually get to know certain things you have to be a seeker of information to come across such things and um i really love because now i've come across through reactions i've come across a video that um where scientists i think recorded the sound up there up somewhere there and it was very very amazing and um this was interesting to actually find out what kind of sound um the star makes it's always always a good experience to learn something while reacting to videos um concerning the prediction it's amazing just that's why i feel like as much as today's people feel walk i feel like the people back then were more walk and because if they didn't have the science if they didn't have all these things the technology to help them how were they discovering some of these things that the quran says it's hard since its revelation 1400 years ago you know just how that how is how i would uh, is something i'd love for someone to explain how were people discovering things back then with what help with whose help because um, many predictions are in the Quran and although mm, which reminds me what about the pyramids does the Quran speak about the pyramids or those are just basic things because up to now no one can say how really those were built that's something I would really love to understand in this life there's so much uh, mystery as to how things were done in the past that we just can't understand not even our technology can explain that and i find it quite fascinating you know and um concerning uh the surah I recited at the end of the video uh it's it speaks about punishing those who turn away from the verse i guess those who don't believe in what the verse says it's if we're created by someone and we don't obey them, it's only right that they punish us. But imagine it's someone who's an atheist. Because when someone dies, doesn't that so just rest there? You know, I'm just complicating things because I'm thinking too much. But yeah, so those are my thoughts on this video. Do you guys have anything to say towards um, this? Oh, oh, last comment. I feel like sometimes like the punishment mentioned i feel like sometimes it's i always say it's a warning from god to remind us that um for everything we say no to there's consequences that's how i'd love to look at it i don't know about what you guys think let me know down below if there's anything you want me to react to uh drop the name or the link down below for me to react to and i'll do it um with time make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video